Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Ashwin Sunil Tamankar. I'm a consultant in Urological Oncology Division as a part of Cancer Division of Apollo Hospitals, Navi Mumbai. We are here for discussion on prostate cancer today. So first and foremost, prostate is a small gland located at the base of the bladder. Uh, it, it happens only in males. At, at, after the 50s and 60s years of age, the prostate gland enlarges. And majority of the times, there can be a possibility of cancer in that. Just to enumerate the statistics, uh, it is the second most common cancer in men across the globe. Uh, exactly percentage wise, 14.6% are lung cancers and 14.3% are prostate cancers. So a very much important cancer and it should not be ignored at all. Unfortunately, in India, the awareness is little lacking and that is why we need to circulate this message to the mass, ma mass media or mass population for understanding so that people will come forward for screening of this cancer. So coming to the screening, screening basically is a simple test which tells you about possibility of cancer. Many people must have heard about breast cancer screening in the form of mammogram or cervical cancer screening in the form of pap smear in females. Likewise, this is the only cancer in a man which has a defined screening test as a part of standard guidelines in the Western countries. So after the age of 50 years, each and every man in Western countries undergoes an examination, of a standard physical examination and a simple blood test called serum prostate specific antigen, a short form of that is PSA, every year once in a frequency and they repeat it between the age of 50 to 75. Any abnormal results are reflected into further investigations in the form of either MRI or the in the form of biopsy if necessary and the subsequent treatments are considered. Early stages of this particular cancer, first of all, it's a little slow glowing cancer as compared to the other cancers and hence it gives us a lot of opportunity of complete cure if detected well in time. Again, re-emphasizing on the fact of uh, the importance of screening, I, sh I should say. So initial stages when the cancer is located to the prostate or the surrounding structures, either the complete removal of the, of the prostate by doing a surgery called radical prostatectomy or radiation therapy plus minus hormone therapy are the two essential options in the form of curative modality of intent. Once the cancer goes out to different body parts, we simply call it stage four cancer. Majority of the times it goes to the bones because it has high affinity towards the bones. Uh, we cannot unfortunately cure the patient, but that time the goal will be long-term control of the cancer and maintaining the quality of life. Obviously, we don't want to go into that stage, so we need to be coming forward for the PSA screening. September generally is considered to be the prostate cancer awareness month, and that's why we are going to have a screening campaign across uh, in Apollo Hospital in the, that particular month. Uh, in general, we will discuss about the robotic surgery in the subsequent session, but just to give a, a, a quick emphasis on the robotic surgery for prostate cancer, it gives us rapid recovery with precise treatment. The outcomes of prostate cancer surgery essentially are measured in two manners. One is cancer related outcome and second is functional outcome. So cancer related outcome is obviously to take the whole, uh, to take the cancer in control, thereby keeping the patient free of cancer for many, many years or decades. And the functional outcome is in the form of recovery of the urinary functions and the sexual functions depending upon the patient's previous baseline parameters. So robotic surgery gives us a lot of opportunity for this precise surgery with uh, seamless and faster recovery. The discharges generally happen within 48 to 72 hours after this surgery and it's a very painless recovery. Patient generally walks on the very second day of the surgery. So most important message again today, it's an important cancer, second most common cancer in a man. A simple screening test is very much essential and important to be started starting from the age of 50 years. It sometimes runs in family. So family history of prostate cancer to a father should definitely reflect into regular screening to the son starting from the age of 45 years plus. It also has some genetic implications. So again, family history in, in other members of the family in terms of breast cancer, ovarian cancer in mother or sister, uh, you should be more careful about screening yourself for prostate cancer. So, plunas, so, so please do come forward for this particular uh, cancer awareness and PSA screening starting from the age of 50 years along with examination is important to be circulated as a mass population at the level of mass population as a message for creating some better awareness. Thank you so much.